This is a laptop replacement screen for a Acer Aspire 5253 BZ602 is the model number. Laptop screen is taken from laptopscreen.com and we'll be replacing this screen. As you can see it has a pressure crack or something as if somebody either sat on or placed a heavy object on the screen. So the first thing you're going to want to do is turn it off and remove the battery. And in this case, uh, I could show you what actually is on the screen by using the external port and a separate screen. But this time I just powered down hard. I'm going to take out the battery pack. Lay that aside. Flip it back open. And what we want to do is remove the two screw covers in the bottom left and right corners. And you can use an X-Acto knife or a sharp screwdriver and you remove them. They are held there by a little bit of sometimes pretty strong glue and you will probably end up buggering them up and you probably have to go to the manufacturer ask for replacements but if you don't care how they look you can just reuse them. And then we have Phillips head screw drive, uh, screws to remove. Um, I'm using a set of driller screwdrivers you can get at any big box hardware store. This is a number one Phillips head. That's the one that looks like a plus sign. Back out those screws. And save them. And then we want to remove the frame, the plastic frame off of the screen. You just ways just put your fingers in there and pull. And it has snaps going all the way around. Easiest to remove it from the center. Sometimes it does not want to give. There we go. And the hinges may catch up a little bit. You can just pull them out. It's, uh, just plastic. There we go. That's this. That's the plastic frame. Next, we have six screws that actually hold the laptop screen. One, two, and three on each side into a metal um, frame holder. Bottom, top, and one in the middle. It looks like this actually has a. Uh, places for four on each side, but they've only used three, and so we'll take those out right now. Again, we're using the same number one jeweler Phillips head screwdriver, and these screws are much shorter. They're a different color. They're black. The other ones were silver colored. And we can drop them sometimes and misplace them. And one more screw to go. Okay. And now our laptop screen, the broken one, is free from the frame holder. And you'll actually see that we can pull it out like this. Okay. It will be connected by a cable, power cable. Um, you'll see the do not touch area uh, up here where the circuit card is. And there's a connector. What we want to do is remove the tape that holds the connector in place. Uh, I would not suggest cutting it with an X-Acto knife. Just take care to remove it, the tape carefully. Yours will probably not be as easy to remove as this one. Okay, and then the connector just slides out. Okay, this is the old screen which we're going to discard of and probably hopefully find a place to recycle it. This is the new screen from LaptopScreen.com. It comes with a uh, protective cover and in an anti-static bag. Let's remove the sheet, protective sheet. Okay. And we're going to reconnect the electronics. Let's see it fits and slides in. helps to the bright light and we'll just gently press down to seal the tape back in. 
Okay, that's good. And try not to pinch anything. Let me slide it back into the frame holder. Okay. Now we are ready to do the reverse, which is put the screws back in. So. Oops, let's see if I can do this without dropping any screws. You may have to wiggle it slightly to line up. It's one, two. Three, four. Right there, you saw I had to do a little adjustment there to line up. Five, and the last one. And six. Again, this screen is from laptopscreen.com and arrived very quickly. Looks like it was in good shape. We put our frame back on, hook it into the hinges area first, and it just will press in with lots of snaps. Oops. Careful not to press in the area of um, the screen itself. That would cause another pressure crack. And it snaps in. And at this point, we will be putting screws in and the batteries in. Let's put the battery in first. put the screws in, I'll power this up so you can see that it is working again. We'll put in the uh, bottom screws. And these originally were shipped with, um, uh, looks a little blue, so they had a mild thread locker. I don't think that's necessary to use. If you want things pristine again, you can use that. Again, thread locker you can find at any uh, hardware store. put our screw covers on and they've kind of lost a lot of their glue so you probably would want to either lose them permanently or get them replaced by the manufacturer <coughs> and there we've replaced our laptop screen again this was a laptop screen from laptopscreen.com uh, quality looks excellent it's our original equipment manufacturing so it's equivalent to what the factory would ship uh, thank you, and hope uh, you have similar success.